plastic bags have long been banned in Uganda, but in the suburbs of Kampala, they're still littering the ground. Andrew Mupuya wants to change that. He's 21 years old. Five years ago, he founded his own company. With 15 co-workers, he makes paper bags. The young entrepreneur comes from humble circumstances. He earned his startup capital all by himself. I collected these plastic bottles. Then I mobilized my fellow students in school and we collected over 70 kilograms. And I sold them to a recycling plant. When people saw me collecting those plastic bottles, they thought maybe I've run mad. <laughs> But I knew what I was doing. That startup capital amounted to $12. Now he sells Yeli paper bags all over Uganda. His customers are small shops and pharmacies. The market developed rapidly. Andrew Mupuya now produces 20,000 paper bags a week by hand. The simplest bags are folded in nine steps. The most complicated take 32. Mupuya can't afford machines. He buys his paper in Kenya. The young men are entirely self-taught. So I had to watch YouTube videos of people making them by hands in India. And then that's how I learned to make it. And then I, I made the sample. I took it to, to the supermarkets and shops. And they were interested in it. And then they gave me the order. <laughs> When he's not at the company, Andrew Mupuya studies economics at Kampala University, where he also recruits new co-workers. He says the country offers great potential for young entrepreneurs like him. The entrepreneurial character is quite new in Uganda, and a few are adapting it because it's not, it sounds not easy for someone to be studying while enterprising at the same time. No risk, no gain. And he's won plenty of awards with his venture. His plans are quite ambitious. I want to be the biggest paper bag producer worldwide. <laughs> so <laughs> I still have a longer way to go. I want to build up a bigger plant that is able to supply paper bags all over the world. But I've started it small. I'll go step by step and I believe I'll make it. There's certainly a market in Uganda. Many supermarkets and shops have yet to introduce paper bags. Yelly paper bags can scarcely keep up with demand. And Andrew Mapuya is already negotiating. He wants to buy paper bag-making machines abroad when he gets the loan he's hoping for.